So I wanted to start off and say what's up. Hope you guys are doing well. I have not stopped playing this game. In fact, I've probably been playing it a little too much. Uh, I've been pretty much every night <laughs> for like a long time. I mean, I'll go ahead and show you my gear right now. Now this right here, I'm going to get to Batman in a minute. I almost have 100% of his gear set bonuses. And what I'll show you in a minute is everything that I have. Um, I'm going to open up some diamond mother boxes in a minute. And I also wanted to show you the Wonder Woman... Uh, they have like an exclusive movie thing for on here, which I thought was kind of cool. So this is pretty much what I'm rocking with right now. Now this is from countless hours over the weekend, doing all the multiverses and just trying to get as much stuff as I can. Uh, customized characters, let me show you right now. Let me go back to Batman. Uh, the one thing I do like, uh, this is the one I have been using. It's the Batman Beyond gear. Or not, not the Batman Beyond gear, that's the, actually the, the shader is the Beyond part. The gear has nothing to do with it. Um, I like this setup because I have 3,700 strength. Um, it is absolutely just ridiculous. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I feel like the two-piece bonus for this gives you 200 strength. And then the three-piece for this gives you pretty much 300 defense plus the batterings can have a little chance to do something else. Uh, and then the Mark 11 set completely. Uh, 200 strength, increased range on a Bat Swarm character power. And increases battering damage. Now that actually is pretty good if you spam the one where he throws the battering over and over. Uh, that's the Mark 11 set. The Kryptonite set's good against Kryptonians. I thought that it was almost pretty overpowered if I have to fight Superman or something. I just put this on and it's, uh, you can see down there, I do 25% extra damage to Kryptonians. And then uh, they, they do 25% less. Now the one I struggled with to get the most, I had the almost the entire set of Billionaire. But I did not have the buckle. I finally got it this morning. And it kind of sucks because if I had four pieces and the two-piece bonus is all you get. So if you don't have all five, it's pointless. Uh, the golden batterings, I have not seen it. All right, guys, I wanted to kind of test out. Sorry for the weird cut. I just, I was like, okay, let me go ahead and see what these batterings look like. This is the billionaire set. Five piece. That's what the batterings look like. So, oh, that is really nice. Um, just kind of doing a practice mode right now. One of my favorite combos is still the, uh, that... Oh, I almost connected it. Um, but that's what golden batterings look like. But I wanted to just kind of show this to you. That's what I've been using. And the insurgent set is actually really powerful as well. The four-piece bonus, I don't know what classifies as a classic Batman foe. I'm guessing like the Joker. You know, that's that's like the only one I can really think of. Maybe there's a few more. Uh, but that's that. Um, I have an Endless Winds kind of build. Uh, this is the AI stuff I've been using. You can send your AI to battle. I think 10 rushdowns good. The difference between 20 and 30 combo is not much. Counter, I like it 30. Sometimes I can mess you up though, because the character's uh, spending more time trying to be defensive rather than offensive. But some people say 30 combo is best and then 30 counter, but I like the rushdown because Batman doesn't really have a lot of big combos. So they're only gonna get a couple of hits in the air. So rushdown, I think, needs to be a 10 so we can get closer. Uh, the billionaire thing, that's just if I want to grind to get extra credits and everything. As you can see, 15% boost, I think, is pretty intense. And I, I don't know if that actually stacks with the other one. Alright, guys, I took off the fourth and fifth bonus piece, which basically means that Superman's going to do the right amount of damage to me. But I'm also going to do normal damage to him. I'm going to try and see how it looks before and after I put on the other bonuses. Batman. So, here Superman. we go, guys. Fighters approaching Fortress of Solitude. You gave me the kryptonite. I never begin. All right, here we go. I mean, I'm really not doing that much damage, it seems like. Holy shit, I'm not doing hardly anything. I'm so used to the 30, uh, 3,700 strength. Having normal batterings. I don't understand what the golden batterings really does. I guess it's just to show off or something. <laughs> oh shit! I'll just do one round since it's really kind of pointless. So we can kind of see the damage. Ah, so I've got that to connect like one time and never again. His overhead kick does so much damage. Oh shit, oh shit, come on. Alright, I'm good. Alright, let me uh, fast forward. One sec, guys. 
begin. All right, let's do this. I'm also gonna do a third test. All right, I can tell a small difference. Now let's see about him hitting me. Let's see, 25% reduction. I can, I don't know, it, it seems normal. All right, so the kick I just did did 101. It's like 112 damage. 112.54, all right, I'm gonna do that same kick. I'm gonna try and show you my build in a minute. The 3700 <laughs> strength. I'm gonna cut to that after that. Okay, so that actually worked out pretty well. All right, hold on, guys. All right, here we go, guys. 3700 strength. Let's see how much more damage the kick does. If I can, if I can actually land it now. I don't know if he has extra defense with that. Okay, look at that. That is insane, damn! Look at that shit. 112 to that. I'm telling you, man, stack that. Ah, almost grabbed him. Yeah, that this build is just does so much. So you don't even need the bonuses for everything. So yeah, the 25%, but if you can stack strength with it, I just feel like strength is basically all all you really need in this game. That does I mean that is insane how much damage that did. I'm just kinda messing around with the different attacks. I'm gonna do basic attacks to him. Don't waste my time. Alright, hold on one sec. I got one more thing to try, guys. All right, guys, I have the 100% on, uh, the 100% to classic villains. Now, I don't know if Joker's considered a classic, so I'm not really sure if this is uh, an exact replica. But you can, as you can see, the damage is still nowhere near that other one I just had. But yeah, I think it's, uh, it's, it's a really good set regardless, but I think stacking strength just is king in this game. All right, hang on, guys. So that's what I have for Batman. Uh, I want to go ahead before we do anything else <laughs> and open up. I've been, man, I've been eager for this. I don't know what I'm going to get, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. This is about to be vicious. Now, the gear set pieces, I've I've discovered, I've been deleting a lot of these. So, like, all four of these epics, it's you see it and you're like, oh, shit, I got four epics. But you have to look at the stats, really. Um, and if it's got the greenish tent to it, then that means it's a gear set bonus, and that's kind of what you want. So, like, oh, I got a nice hero card. So I got, uh, Lunatic's Cap. I, th I think I already have that one. And then I got the Witch Doctor's Ritual Blade for her. I think I already have that as well. And I'll, oh, bef before we go any further, let me show you. The reason I have a lot of this is primarily because the guild I'm in right now. Uh, we're in the top 100, and we've just been doing the multiverse. But look at the active buff. It's only going to last another, like, 20 hours. But 54% increased chance to drop rare gear. So basically, when I play with Batman, and I'll leave it on or whatever, I mean, it's just, like, every few matches, I'll get an epic for him, just about. And if it's not for him, it's for, for like, another character. So that's that's pretty badass. I, I think once that buff goes away, I'll probably not play near as much. But that was kind of incentive. The, oh wow, this is nice. Yellow Sun Mantle. I don't know what that does. Let me show details. Uh, Superman's Unchained Character Power Cooldown is reduced by 20%. Uh, the Mark 11 Cal. I pretty much already have that, but I'm only missing. He has a Mark II boots and Mark II uh, belt. And I got the Mark II boots, but I have yet to get the belt. And I'm hoping I can get it before this buff runs out, so... This video just turned into me, uh, me uh, opening these. Alright, not really sure. Sometimes you just gotta look at the stats. These legs are really good. You can also look at the price, like, strength and defense. I try to stack everything in that. I don't really feel like ability is worth it. Uh, now, ability with some characters, I think, is really good. But, I mean, you want to hit harder and you also want to, uh, not be able to take as much damage. See, like, okay, th this is a good example. This is a really good one because the stats are pretty well distributed. You can regenerate them and get different stuff. But now her gear set bonus, I don't think I have that. 50, uh, sun charge is active. Extra damage to Mel's. Holy shit. <laughs> That's like, I mean, there's not many female characters in the game, so that is a huge boost. I might have to mess around with that. All right, what else we got? Uh, Queen of Bones Predator, or Predatory Legs. I don't know if I have that. What does that gear set do? Increased damage. 
Oh, so it's a four-piece set. I don't I don't know what I have really for that, but Yeah, I've been kind of selling all the epics, so that's why I got so much money on here, but Let's see what we got. Anything good? I'm just kind of looking over the prices. Now, this one's a really good. But both of these two, I think are really good. You can The reason these like are such lower priced is cuz the stat distribution is a lot lower, so it's so hard to get these diamond boxes, but when they did this event, I was like, all right, let's get this. I think this might be the other piece of that other set we were just looking at. And then the, what is this one? 25% extra damage to villains only in, uh, in the multiverse. So you can't go online and use it. Increased trident damage, which is like every hit he does. When under 10% health, oh wow. That basically means as you go down, you, you're taking them with you, you know? I, I did see- holy shit, we got five that time. Oh, I finally got some Joker stuff. I've been dying to get some of this stuff. Man, I don't know what it is, but uh, he doesn't have a lot of gear sets, it seems like. Okay, wallet, max ha power, Superman by 15% increased rate. That's actually really good because it doesn't take long and then additional damage over time. That's that's really nice. I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out later. I don't know if I have any other stuff for him. That might be the very first gear set piece I have for him. Oh, we got three here. Here we go. Catwoman, I'll take it. Uh, I like the ones that give you the static abilities uh, or the passive abilities of just extra power Extra defense, extra health, stuff like that. Okay, everything else seems kind of generic. Now, you gotta pay attention. Sometimes rares will, like, these arms for Dr. Fate are pretty high rolls, so... Sometimes a rare will be better. I did see where they announced the uh, Red Hood. Oh, we got so Oh, I think these go with the other ones. Oh, I got two gear pieces that time. I haven't really used him much. He is a powerhouse, though. I mean, absolutely powerhouse. Oh, wow. All Omega Beam damage is it. That, I hate that attack he does. Now, this is the same one. Yeah, I have the two-piece bonus for her now. That's actually sick. Kind of glad I got that. Oh, that's that's not... I, I kind of wonder if you can get six. Oh, and none of these are a gear set piece. I love it. All right, let's keep going. Same thing there, nothing. I Even though it's epic, you think it's great, but... I mean, I have a full set of epic just about for every character. Maybe a few pieces here and there that I'm missing, but... Oh, that was a bummer. See, look at that. I'll, I'll take two and get... You know, two sets of gear set pieces. Can no longer be escaped. That shit sounds overpowered, man. Brainiac. That's, uh, <laughs> that's so vicious, man. Oh, I want to get six. Oh, we got Batman. Oh, oh, come on. Really? Could have given me anything else. It's just going to be more stuff to sell, I suppose. Oh, there's four. I'll take it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, hold on. Really, it, that that is such a exact ability. Look at that. That is, I, I don't understand that at all, man. When you're only fighting her, like, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, man, green green arrow might be the best thing you can do in this game. Before I go any further, I didn't know this would take so long. I just wanted to show you me opening them, but uh, this also brought this back to my attention. Uh, the first thing I, I didn't show you was when I go here, let me just show you uh, his boots. Th this is the other one right here. I do not have the experimental belts, but I kind of want it because uh, with one, you don't get anything, but I think an extra 100 strength and 100 ability power actually might be good because my goal is to keep 2,000 defense. I just think that this build right here is overall the better one, uh, but here's the thing. A lot of people, if you don't have any kind of buff going, I got lucky with this. Look at this two-piece bonus. 50% uh, increased chance of gear drop for characters other than Green Arrow to be of higher rarity. So that basically, that buff I have now. Uh, now you think, okay, well how does that happen? 
Well, you can go to your options and turn off the uh, character base drops. I'll show you right now where to turn that off at. And that's kind of what I was doing. You go to game settings uh, down here. Gear drop character bias. You, you would just play with him and turn that off and basically anything that would drop, uh, you pretty much have a higher chance to get that. So, all right, we got 10 more. Let's do this, guys. I'll take three. Let's get it. Oh, we got two. Nice. Now, this is one I definitely need. Look at that. The two gives you more health and more strength. Wow, that is really good. And what does hers do again? 300 defense? Are you shitting me? I heard Supergirl was really good, like top tier good. So, I think she's the best female character in the game. Although I have more gear with Cheeto for some reason. I think she just had more multiverses. All right, here we go. Uh, two of these, Blue Beetle. I only played with him like once. And, oh yeah, that might be good. Any more Green Arrow stuff I can get, I'm trying to build his character up so when I go on the multiverse, when I'm grinding to get extra epics for everybody else, I want to be able to actually make it further. So, oh, this is a bummer. Look at this. These stats are okay, but apparently Black Adam is top tier. I didn't know that. I thought the Flash and a few other characters would be, but apparently he's like, the, him and Deadshot are apparently just like overpowered. So, um, I think I already have those. And this might go with the other one. No, that's a different one. Okay. Yeah, Deadshot, you just turn on zoning to like 30, and it's absolutely nuts. He just shoots across the screen over and over. Ooh, I need some flash gear. Oh, it's a good one, too. Look at the uh, strength and defense. Reduces damage taken from arena trend. That's, that's very situational. Uh, I feel like you don't really need that but I do like the special moves have a 5% chance to critical hit for 50% additional damage holy shit alright let's see what we got and no gear pieces oh come on what does this say v verifying price I haven't seen that yet does it not know it I guess it has to do it later it just it just can't comprehend it right now Still nothing good there. It is kind of like playing the lottery, basically. This kind of reminds me of uh, a lot of games now do these supply drops or whatever they're called. I, th I think it's like Call of Duty does it. And uh, I have I've yet to really use Dr. Fate. Well, I, I hate fighting against him, but. Anything good? Nope. It's always that last piece that can never find out what it is. All right, here we go. I actually have a lot of stuff for him, so that... Now, here's the thing about him. I actually have another piece of this set. I don't understand the uh, two-piece just giving you 50. Like, Supergirls, what was that? The three-piece gave you 300 defense and, like, 150 health or something? I mean, that, that seems like it should be a little bit higher, so... Is that everything? Yep, that's all of them. All right. All right, guys. Well, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. When we come back next time, I'm going to give this to End All Wars a shot. Probably do the whole thing in one video and also show you her character ending uh, from the story. So, love you all. You're the best audience ever. And take it easy.